Okay, so we're looking at a sets problem and it's what we have here is that in a class of 40 students, 25 of those students doing Spanish, 20 study uh, French and X amount of students doing both subjects in Spanish and French. Six students in the class are doing neither Spanish nor French. We have to construct a Venn diagram to present the information. Three marks. So we're going to look at a Venn diagram now. Okay, so we have the Venn diagram here. And we want to use the information above that we were given to complete the Venn diagram. Okay, so what we're told is that we have 40 students in the universal set in the class. So we're talking about 40 students in a particular class. So the class represents a set of universe, well, a set of students, and it's a universal set. Okay. That would be what we're talking about. The class of 40 students being uh, the universal set. So 40 students. And the number of students who are studying Spanish is 25. So we put it on top here, on top of the circle. Number of students, this means number of students studying Spanish. Let's use S for Spanish and F for French. Okay, so number of students studying Spanish is 25. Put it here. Number of students who are studying French is 20. And then X amount of students studying both subjects. Where would we have that? Well, if you notice that both subsets in Spanish and French intersect in this region. And this region is where we have both subsets sharing a certain amount. And that amount is X, the number of students doing both subjects. Now, if of 25 students, there's X amount of students who study um, French. So if you want to find out this the amount of students who are studying just Spanish, nothing else. We refer to this region as Spanish only, the Spanish only region, the Spanish only region. Okay. And this region here is the French only region. Okay. The Spanish only region. And so therefore, if the, in the total region, we have 25 students, this region represents those who are doing French. Those distribution represent those who are not doing French. What we'll need to do to find the amount who are doing just Spanish. We'll take out the amount who are doing French, which is X amount. We're not certain what amount that is. And the same thing goes for this. Put 20. In the whole entire subset, we have, what, 20 students. But we have to take out the amount who are doing Spanish. Okay? So this region exclude the amount of students who are doing Spanish. So we take out the X amount. We're not sure, certain what amount is. Eventually, we have to find what amount is in B, where it asks us to calculate the value of X, those students who are studying both Spanish and French. Okay, are we done yet? Well, let's go back to the information so we have completed it. Well, no, we haven't done as yet. We have placed all information here, here so far. X, yes, we have that already. Six study neither Spanish nor French. And so we cannot put that information anywhere within these two circles, these two subsets in Spanish and French. It must go outside because it's neither Spanish nor French. So these students outside here should not be in the subset of S or F. So we have just completed our Venn diagram, represent information above, and now we want to calculate the value of X. Okay, in exam style format, sometimes they do ask you to write an expression to represent the number of students who are doing uh, both subjects. So how are we gonna do that? Okay, so I'm gonna do, let's write a simple, let's write an expression uh, to represent those students who are doing uh, just, just, um, let's write the number of students who are doing both subjects. So we have an expression Okay, and eventually we're going to look at an equation. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so this will be expression and then our equation. We want to be able to do those. Okay. So let's go to the expression part first.
Okay, so writing an expression. Now we weren't asked to really write an expression to represent the students who are doing uh, work who are in the class. But sometimes, like I said, they ask us to write an expression in X to represent the total students in the class. And so how do you do that? An expression means you have no equal sign between terms. And so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, we're gonna simply add up each section. When we add this section here, this section here, this section, and this section, when we add those four sections, we'll get the total students in the class. Isn't that so? Those who are doing Spanish alone, those who are doing both Spanish and French, those who are doing French only, and those of in the class who are not who are not doing Spanish, not French. So therefore, once we add up those students, we'll get the total students in the classroom. So we're going to add 25 minus x. We're going to add that to x. Those doing Spanish only. Those doing both. Those doing French only. Let's add them right here. And those who are doing either six. So that is the expression of students. The expression of the total students in the class. Just an expression. No equal sign between terms. Okay? I'm going to simplify this and it will still represent the expression. And so what we have is 25. Now what we'll have here is that uh, this minus x plus x will be what? If we have x, which is plus x, imagine we have positive x. Let's take this as positive x and let's put this one afterwards, the negative x as a minus x. What will happen? x minus x is zero, isn't that so? So it doesn't matter if we have the other way around, it's minus x plus x. If we put this minus x in front of plus x, it's x minus x. So this will actually cancel out. Okay? They have the same number, 1x and 1x, but one is minus, one is plus. The signs are different, we subtract and that will give us zero. 25 plus 20 plus 6. We're going to add those numbers. Okay? 25 plus. 20 uh, plus 6 and then we're going to put back the variable and notice we also carry the sign in front of the variable which is minus x okay let's simplify that further 25 plus 20 that's going to give us 45 yes plus 6 is 51 and then we put back the minus x it's not an equation, so we cannot solve for x. It's just an expression. So we have simplified this long expression into a smaller version. Okay? Now, they want, if they, now for us to solve for x, we must have an equation. So we can either put this long thing, uh, this long expression here, and put it equal to what? 40. In other words, 25 minus x plus x plus 20 minus x plus 6 is actually equal to 40 students. We add this set of students to this, to this set, to this set. We get 40 of them in total. So this is an equation. We have the expression in x equal 40. We have an equation. We have an equal sign between two terms. Equal sign here between this term and that term. It's an equation. Or uh, we can say equal, equal, equal sign between two expressions. This expression and this monomial expression, that's well, one term expression. Uh, how will we do this, therefore? Well, we know this whole long thing here can be simplified as 51 minus x. This long thing can be simplified as 51 minus x equal 40. And now we can actually solve for x. Okay, remember that this long thing is this? So I'll just replace it with this and bring back the minus, it might equal 40. To solve for x, what, I, what I'm going to do? Well, since I have minus x, I can take the minus x over this side. And what will I have? I have 51 is equal to 40. Uh, where is the minus x? It goes over on the other side as plus x. What do I do next? Well, I'm going to take the 40 over this side. So I'm going to have x by itself. I'm going to have positive x by itself. Because that's what I'm asked to find. What is positive x? What is x in other words? So I have positive x here is equal to what? 51. This 40 goes over as minus 40. 
And so what I have is x being equal to 11. Okay, 51 minus 40 is 11. 0 from 1 is 1. 4 from 5 is 1. Okay, x is 11. So I can write it the other way around. x is equal to 11. Okay, so we have found x. Notice what we, when we calculate the value of x, what did we calculate? The number of students who study both French and Spanish. If we look at the Venn diagram, notice where, what we have here. Yes, we have x, and this x is 11 students. So what we're saying here is that in this subset of 20 students who are doing Sp French, tw 11 of those 20 students are doing Spanish. So the number of students who are just doing French alone will be 20 minus 11. Or 20 minus x. We found x to be 11. So those students, so of the 20 students, the number of students doing Spanish is 11 of the 20. And the number of those remaining will be 20 minus 11. So we call it French only. And that will be 9. 9 students doing French only. How many students doing Spanish only? Well, we know that in the 25 students doing Spanish, 11 of them are doing what? French. And so we're going to do what? To find those who are not doing Spanish of the 25, we subtract 11. So therefore, we have uh, one from that gave you four, one from that gave you one. We have 14 students who are just doing Spanish only. Okay? So that's it. So we have 14 students doing Spanish only, 11 doing both, and uh, nine students doing French only. And if we add up these values, we should get what amount? Let's check. Okay, let's see. So look at it. We have 14 students doing Spanish only, 11 students doing both Spanish and French, 9 students doing only French, and 6 students doing neither. 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 1, 16 plus 4, 20. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. We have 40 students in the class. That makes sense. So let's see, look back and see what the, if we answer the question. Determine the number of students who are, determine how many students study French only. Remember what French only is? 20 minus x, which will give us 20 minus 11. Because x was found to be 11, number of students doing both subjects. And so that's the answer. Those who are doing French only. And by the way, this is the symbolic, symbolic, symbolical way of representing the number of students doing French only. Number of students doing um, French only. F intersect S complement. We put a complement on the S. So we, we we're removing those who are doing Spanish using N. Our intersecting S complement. And that's how we write it. What about, can we represent the number of students who are doing Spanish only? Let's see if we can write it. Number of students who are doing Spanish only be S intersect F complement. If you say that, you're correct. Excellent. And that will be what? 25 minus X, which is equal to 14. Okay. Hope this video was very helpful in helping you with your sets problem. And good luck on your exam.